This is my main computer. It's a laptop and it's called the Asus Tough 705DT. This laptop is part of Asus's Tough series, which is like a budget range of gaming laptops. So in this video, we're gonna check out every detail about this laptop because I've been using this beast for more than six months now, and it's about time to give you guys a full review of mine after long-term usage. So sit back, relax, hit that like button, definitely subscribe, and let's hit that. Into. Now, let's just quickly get the specs out of the way. So, this laptop has a Ryzen 7 3750H processor, okay, which was the th highest end processor in the third generation of Ryzen. Then we have a NVIDIA GTS 1650 as the graphics card, it has 4 GB of VRAM. Then we have 16 gigs of RAM which I have upgraded and in total 1.5 TB of storage which I have also upgraded. So it came with a 8 GB of RAM and I added additional 8 GB. So it came with a 512 GB NVMe SSD and I added an additional 1 TB hard disk for mass storage. Now with the specs out of the way. Let's just talk about my experience after using this laptop as my main computer for well over 6 months now. Now quickly let's just talk about the main thing that is the performance of this laptop. And yeah, I've been using this as a main computer and it mainly is used like a desktop not like a laptop. I rarely take it out from my table and use it somewhere else. So almost all of the times it is connected to an external monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, a USB hub. A a set of speakers and all those stuff but occasionally if i have the urge i would take it out to use it in another room or on the bed or on the couch so yeah it makes it quite a portable setup at the moment now with all of these things connected i am still able to get very good performance from the gts 1650 because all of the games that i have ran on this computer have easily given me very smooth performance they have at least given me around 60 fps okay and yeah in uh, like except cyberpunk all the other games may it be shadow of tomb raider may it be gta 5 may it be control okay uh, in 1080 gaming i have received 60 fps from all of these games and if you play competitive shooters like CSGO or Valorant, you'll get more well over 150 FPS. Okay, or in regular, you'll get about 120 to 130 FPS, which is very nice. Now, considering I'm talking about the 1080p gaming performance, yeah, if you go above that, like 2K gaming, so it will be a little difficult. The frame rates will drop. So I would recommend you to get this laptop in order to do 1080p gaming, not 2K or 4K. Now another thing that I do very frequently on this laptop is video editing. So my video editing software of choice is Adobe Premiere Pro and I use After Effects and Photoshop along with it like very uh, those have very minor usage I mainly use Premiere Pro okay and I mainly edit 1080p footage on it so sometimes I use 4k footage in some b-rolls and stuff okay but yeah in general my timeline is a 1080p timeline so that is handled really well by this laptop i have rarely seen any hiccups while chopping through the footage or putting effects on it or anything else but yeah as soon as you introduce 4k footage onto it it struggles a bit so you have to turn on the turbo mode so yeah which is one of the fan modes which is given here there are three there is silent performance and turbo so yeah i have to turn on the turbo mode in order for the fans to kick in and then 4k editing becomes a little bit more smoother but yeah, editing 1080p footage is buttery smooth and you can totally edit videos on this particular laptop. And it comes with a few pre-installed apps like Asus's Armory Create 2, like control the temperatures, monitor the temperatures, control the fan speed, control the lighting, etc, etc. And you also get the like system information or warranty information software. So those things are handy. And a Windows 10 uh, works really well on it. All the gestures work really well and yeah it is very smooth so i don't have any complaints with windows 10 apart from the like the usual bugs that windows have so yeah this laptop mainly doesn't have any issues with the software now with that out of the way let's talk about the build a bit so this laptop is made out of plastic mostly and there is metal on the lid on the back side of the lid 
but uh, granted it is only present on this particular color which is the gold seal color which also comes with the glowing asus logo which is a cherry on top but yeah it does have aluminium at the back of the lid so it is a little bit more sturdy when you compare it with the competition in this particular price range by the way it, this laptop retails for around 61000 rupees okay because of this like uh, aluminium thing okay and yeah this color is for 61000 and the and the normal color okay in the gray color you will get it for like 59 or 60k the display has a little bit of flex which is normal because uh, yeah most of it is made out of plastic but you don't need to worry it is no major concern okay the body doesn't have any major flexes apart from there being a little bit of flex in the keyboard part okay but when you are like gaming or when you're typing you won't really feel like if the keyboard is being pressed or anything so yeah we don't need to worry about that also now the trackpad is not that great it is made out of plastic so yeah all the gestures work really well because it has windows precision drivers but the trackpad itself is very flimsy there are no separate buttons for the right click and left click you can just press the entire trackpad to register your clicks so that is a good thing the keyboard itself is really good so it is a uh, like a general gaming keyboard okay it has a good amount of travel and it feels really clicky so yeah the typing experience on this keyboard is really good and when gaming you will not feel any like uh, uh, problems okay and an additional bonus is that the WASD keys are transparent so the rgb lights shine through it and it looks really cool and talking about rgb this laptop does have rgb on the keyboard it's not perky rgb but yeah you can select any of the colors between the 16 million 16.17 million colors that we have in the spectrum so yeah you can select any color between that and combining all these this laptop gives you really good gamery vibe while still being a little bit minimal because the design on the lid is not very aggressive okay it is a very minimal design so you can even use it in general places and nobody would complain but yeah the asus logo really looks cool the only thing that i don't like about this keyboard is that the home delete end keys these keys are like sandwiched in a single button okay so when the home and end button are in one button and the delete insert buttons are on the a single button so you have to press function every time you want to like use the alternate option and yeah, that is really annoying for me because i use the home end and delete buttons very often okay while editing so that was a thing that i didn't like now we have that big 17.3 inch full hd ips display yeah which honestly is really good it is not very color accurate but everything looks really good on this display like while you're watching videos playing games everything will look really good i wouldn't recommend this particular screen or display for like color correcting and that kind of stuff but yeah this display overall looks really good and is a very good display that asus has provided and yeah this also has a matte coating on top which like works as an anti glare coating and yeah it does like which does like help with the reflections because there are little to no reflections on this particular screen and that's a very good thing but yeah it is an lcd display and yeah it does have little bit of light leaks on the edges but nothing major so you don't need to worry about this the view angles on the display are also really good so you can watch content from multiple angles and it won't like black out The only thing which I don't really like about this display is that it is only 60 hertz. Well, I like it, but yeah, it's not a problem for me. But yeah, uh, since this is a gaming laptop, so it should at least come with a 120 hertz display. But it doesn't. It just is 60 hertz, and uh, yeah, most of the gamers like would have benefited with uh, 120 hertz. But if you like want one the 120 hertz display, you have to go with the 15 inch model. uh which is the Asus stuff 505 okay which comes with the 120 hertz display and the 15 inch screen so yeah you can go with that so all in all this is a great display okay in this price segment to be, like use for any kind of like work or 
like uh, for entertainment purposes now if we talk about the port situation we have two usb 3.1 ports one usb 2.0 port one hdmi 2.0 port and ethernet port and a charging pin okay uh, at the end and all these ports along with the uh, like headphone slash microphone combo jack are on the left side of the like laptop okay and the right side only has the Kensington lock and it is completely empty and yet that is a big bummer because you don't get a USB type C port or even an SD card slot on this so I can still ignore the type C port but an SD card slot is really important for me because I regularly import footage from my camera to my computer and yeah an SD card slot would have been very like convenient but yeah, they have not provided any of those and this is honestly a missed opportunity from Asus's side because if we take a look inside the laptop okay yeah I have opened it to upgrade the RAM and stuff so yeah if you take a look inside the laptop you'll see that the left side is completely empty there is nothing there so they did have the space inside but they still didn't provide those ports which is very dis disappointing now since we are already inside the laptop so let's take a look at the upgradability okay so you can you have like two ram slots so one of them is soldered and the second one is free so you can add up to i believe 16 gigs here so yeah it will be around 24 gb max okay and the ram is capped at uh, 2400 megahertz so take a note of that because of the ryzen processor and you also have uh, a 2.5 inch drive bay okay in which you can put 2.5 inch ssd or sdd i have in i have installed a 2.5 inch sdd here and you have that m.2 nvme drive okay the 512 gig so you can also swap that out if you want but uh, that is a system drive and i wouldn't recommend you to do so now this brings us to the battery and the speakers so since this is a gaming laptop so you cannot expect good battery life from it so it gives around three to four hours of battery life okay depending on the task what you're doing so if you're doing lighter tasks like editing documents typing or something like that okay so you'll get about three to four hours of usage but if you're doing heavier tasks like say gaming so you'll get about one and one and a half hours off screen on time but i would recommend gaming on the battery because it won't get the most performance so just plug it in so this is windows and after plugging in you'll get the best performance from your machine and this laptop also comes with a 150 watt brick which honestly charges this laptop very quickly so you don't have to worry about that now the speakers on this laptop are just fine they are okay for watching movies and videos and the casual music listening but yeah you cannot do anything serious with these and these are also like not that loud they are loud but not that loud at the highest volumes they do like crack so yeah i wouldn't like recommend using this for anything like work purpose but yeah, it's good for casual stuff now the thermals on this laptop are managed very well i would say because this laptop does get hot yeah the <laughs> cpu temperatures do reach that uh, like 90 degree mark but it doesn't throttle which is very surprising and a very good thing to be honest okay so yeah we have a lot of vents we have two radiators at the back we have a vent from the bottom to intake like air we have a vent just above the keyboard okay which is why i cannot like close the laptop while i'm connected to an external monitor because like hot air comes from there and uh, yeah it's a long story but yeah we do have a lot of vents and their heat management is pretty good on this laptop but it does get heat up because of the ryzen processor so you have to keep that in mind so that's basically it for my review of the asus tough 705 dt gaming laptop after using it for more than six months now and yeah it still performs like day one so yeah this was like my general review it may seem like a uh, like early review but yeah uh, that is what i have experienced i have experienced no issues with this laptop and the, yeah it is working very well so i'm really happy with this uh, like purchase and yeah i will try to use it for the next two to three years at least so if you like this video then don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and definitely subscribe to the channel because at the moment i need a lot of subscribers 
so yeah don't forget to subscribe and definitely share this video with everyone who is planning to buy a laptop in this price range of around 55 to 65000 rupees okay i'll put the like buying link in down in the description that will be my affiliate link so if you buy from that the channel will be helped so yeah that's about it i'm your friend shinobi and i'm signing out peace